Welcome my dear friends. Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about muscles of the forearm. So the forearm which is having two compartments, anterior compartment and posterior compartment. Anterior compartment is called as flexor compartment and posterior compartment is called as extensor compartment. Now we are going to see the left sided forearm which is extending between elbow joint and the wrist joint. So the anterior compartment which is consisting of flexor muscles and posterior compartment which is consisting of extensor muscles that we are going to see now. Now moving to the superficial group of flexor compartment of forearm. So the anterior compartment of forearm it is called as flexor compartment because the muscles which are present here are responsible for the movement of flexion. So the first muscle which we can identify most laterally this is the left sided uh, forearm. So most laterally we can identify the brachioradialis muscle. Then medial to that we can identify the pronator teres and which is forming the medial boundary of uh, the cubital fossa. Then after that you can identify just towards medial to this pronator teres you can identify the flexor carpi radialis longus. Then medial to the flexor carpi radialis longus you can identify the long tendon that is called as palmaris longus. Then medial to the palmaris longus tendon you can identify flexor digitorum superficialis muscle. Then medial to the flexor digitorum superficialis that is called as flexor carpi annaris. So these muscles which are present in the superficial layer. Now let us discuss about the deep muscles of the flexor compartment of forearm. Now moving to the deep muscles of flexor compartment of forearm, first and foremost muscle which is present most laterally is called as flexor pollicis longus. Then medial to that you can identify flexor digitorum profundus. And then at the lower aspect of the forearm, under the flexor pollicis longus and flexor digitorum profundus, you can identify transverse fibers which are present over there. Those are called as pronator quadratus. Now moving to the extensor compartment of forearm. So these muscles also arranged in the two layers, superficial and deep. So the superficial muscles which are present here in the extensor compartment of forearm, this is the lateral aspect and this is the medial aspect. Now let us discuss about the muscles which are present in the superficial compartment of extensor compartment of forearm. And first and foremost muscle which we can identify that is called as brachioradialis. Then medial to that you can identify long tendon which is called as extensor carpi radialis longus. Then after that medial to that you can identify extensor carpi radialis brevis. Then at the lower aspect these two tendons extensor pollicis longus, uh, extensor carpi radialis longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis. Brachioradialis these tendons are uh, crossed by the three tendons. So first one is called as abductor pollicis longus. Then extensor pollicis brevis. Then after that medial to that you can identify extensor pollicis longus. Then medial to the extensor pollicis longus tendon you can identify. Uh, extensor digitorum tendons, four extensor digitorum tendons. Then most medial, medial to this extensor digitorum tendons you can identify extensor digiti minimi and most medial you can identify extensor carpi ulnaris. So these are the muscles which are present in the extensor compartment of forearm. And then deep to this is superficial muscles of extensor compartment. Now coming to the deep muscles of extensor compartment of forearm. So and first one is extensor indices tendon. And actually, this abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis and extensor pollicis longus tendons, tendons only we can identify in the superficial strata, whereas we can identify the origin of these three muscles which is present in the deep layer. Thank you, dear friends. See you soon with a new video. Thanks for watching, dear friends. See you soon with a new video.